In this lesson, I'm going to go over multiplying fractions, and I'm going to show you how to make something that is really easy even easier. To multiply fractions, you just multiply across the top and multiply across the bottom. So here we've got 1 fourth times 8 thirds, so we're going to multiply across the top, 1 times 8, and across the bottom, 4 times 3, and that's going to yield a product of 8 twelfths. But we're not done, because 8 and 12 have a common factor. In fact, the greatest common factor between 8 and 12 is 4. So when we divide the top and bottom by 4, we reduce this fraction to 2 thirds. So 1 fourth times 8 thirds is actually going to be 2 thirds. Now, I want to note that we could have actually done some of the reducing before we multiplied across the top and bottom. This is going to be especially helpful when dealing with larger numbers. So you'll notice that we have an 8 on top and a 4 down below. The greatest common factor between 8 and 4 is actually 4. After dividing by the greatest common factor, 8 over 4 reduces to 2 over 1. I don't see any more common factors between the top and bottom now. So since there's no more common factors, I'm just going to multiply across the top and across the bottom, which is going to yield 2 thirds, which is what we got the first time. Here are the two methods we did. You can actually see that by reducing early, we can avoid having to reduce even larger numbers. Like I said before, this is really helpful for problems like this next one. I want you to try this problem on your own. So go ahead and pause the video, and when you're ready, we'll go over the solution. Please press pause now. Okay, welcome back. Hopefully you've had a chance to go through this and come up with a solution. Now, the most straightforward way to handle this problem is to just multiply across the top and bottom. The problem is, is you end up with really large products. Here, if you just multiply 5 times 21 and 14 times 25, you get 105 over 350. They do have a greatest common factor, which is 35, but that can take some time to figure out. And you know, most people, when they look at 105 over 350, 35 doesn't immediately jump out at them. It will eventually reduce, though, to 3 tenths. A much easier way is to reduce before you multiply across and top and bottom. Here I can see that there's a 5 on top and a 25 on bottom. They have a GCF of 5, which reduces these to 1 and 5 after dividing by the GCF. I can also reduce the 21 over 14 by dividing by their GCF, which is 7. That leaves 3 over 2. Now that there's no more common factors between the top and bottom, I can multiply across. That's going to yield 1 times 3, which is 3, and 2 times 5, which is 10. Notice how the answers are the exact same, but reducing earlier can make the process much easier.